Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to our next exit. We are at Timothy Lake South. That's uh, the northeast corner of Pennsylvania by a town called East Stroudsburg or something close to that. And uh, we've had a really good week. We uh, A couple that subscribed to the channel, we've been emailing back and forth for a month or two now. We met up with them here at Timothy Lakes and uh, We've had a really good time, but the reason I'm making this video is they are maybe in the same position that quite a few of uh, you guys are in. In looking at YouTube, our viewers are between 55 and 65 years old, and that kind of makes me think most of you are pre-retirement, right on the verge, thinking about retirement, and trying to gather some information. And... Uh, Jeff and Lori, they're in their early 50s, and they set a goal many years ago. They both got good jobs. They said, when we save this much money, and uh, Lori is in the financial uh, advisor type business and helps people with their financial planning and stuff. So she, they're real sharp on money, and they saved up a nice savings account. And their goal was when they saved up enough money where they could have X amount of money and ballpark of our uh, monthly expense budget. They're kind of right in there. Uh, then they were going to retire. And then Lori had a health issue a year or two ago. And so that made them want even more to retire. Well, now they've hit that budget number. They've saved up the money that they need to save up. Uh, Lori's got all of her issues taken care of. She's healthy and looking great and doing good. But they are concerned. They just having a hard time pulling that trigger. They've sold their house. They've downsized. They bought a Class A motorhome. They've got their savings. They've got everything lined up. But they're leery of pulling that trigger. Now there's some financial rewards for them if they work another year or two that they kind of hate to give up. But the reality is they've met their goals and they just can't pull that trigger. And I was thinking... That it would help them probably, but it might help a lot of you folks. I would like to, we've got a, over 3,000 subscribers. I'd like to maybe take a, a little survey. I'm going to put ask four or five questions and put a little drop down and take a, some polls. And we can start out with the first poll. And this is how you do it. You go up and you click on this button up here and just click on whichever one fits you. I'd like to start the first question. What age, what is your target age to retire and go full-time? Now, if you're not going to go full-time or you're not, you know, if it doesn't affect you, don't take the poll. This is for the people that either have already uh, started. Like for us, we would check 66. And I'm going to have, I'll, I'll probably have it in five-year ages, uh, 55 to 6, or 50 to 55, 55 to 60, 65 to 70. Something like that. I gotta make the video and then I can put the poll in it after I make it because I have to upload the video and then do the poll on YouTube. But uh, it'll be something like that. So pick your age, the closest range to fit you. And uh, we'll have several more of those as we go through the video. And so these results, hopefully we can get maybe a thousand people responding taking these polls and it might give all of us uh, some insight. Another thing I'd like to do on this video is somebody, our Amazon account has been doing Amazon affiliate account where you guys are buying stuff. I think all of you know how it works. You buy something on Amazon and you click on our affiliate link that's down below and go to Amazon and buy it. And then we get a little bit of a, a commission off of it. It averages around two to 8% or something, I think. And we're up to like, uh, let me look. Here's a little spreadsheet. From Amazon, $400, which is nothing compared to, you know, what the serious people do. Uh, and we've got several of you that's bought your 1,000 trails and give them our name and we get $50 a pop. Uh, Terry and Cindy down in South Texas did that. And then Jeff and Lori that I was just talking about, they did it. Somebody else did it, and I don't know who. They don't tell us who, but just... Uh, so if, if you're that third person, let me know who you were so I can tell you thank you. Uh, 
and then our YouTube ads, like 125. But my point is, we're spending all that taking people out to dinner. And here's kind of a little list of the ones that we've taken out, and we've had some nice dinners. So thank you very much. Whoever bought that drone, let me know, and uh, I'd like to see some of your videos. So I'm real anxious to hear that. And a couple of you bought your tow packages and uh, those kind of things. I know uh, Terry and Cindy Goss have bought a lot through there, and then Laura and Coach uh, McGrew, I think you said, they bought a lot of their stuff. So thank all you guys so much, and uh, when we go out to dinner, we usually have a toast to our Amazon affiliate uh, folks with whoever we did the video with. So thanks for using those. And another question I want to ask, another one of the polls, so we know what time or how old you are when you either have started RVing or you plan to start RVing what is your target budget number are you think you're going to do it for under 30,000 uh, 30 to 40,000 40 to 50,000 or over 50 so that's our next poll or about half the people that we've done interviews with have had serious medical issues and that motivated them to retire early <coughs> bless you sweet thank you uh, and i you know you read about all that stuff but it uh, you start getting our age and it it starts happening luckily everybody we've talked to has had their issues and they've addressed them and uh, it appears everybody's modern medicine is taking care of those issues but uh I don't know if that's a, is that an appropriate question to put on there if you do you have a medical issue to retire or are you retiring early due to a medical issue no that's not appropriate no because it's anonymous nobody knows what they say right but it's really so not okay so along those lines it's great to have your finances in order but you got to wait, kind of like Jeff and Lori and what we talked about and some of their concerns is, you know, Jeff is saying, but if I work two more years, I can put this much more money in above and beyond what I had, what our target number was, because I don't know how long we'll live and how much money we'll need. But then my response back is that just like you don't know how long you live and how much you'll need, you don't know about your health. I mean something could happen next month you may not have two more years if you've got the financial resources there and you want to do this it seemed like to me that uh, that's a tough question <laughs> so okay here's the other question if you had to find if you had hit your target date at just say 50 years old you hit your target savings and you had I'm just going to throw out a number or hit your target number, whatever to you that might be that you needed to retire and you think would last you to 95. If you're, if you're watching this video and you're in that 55 to 65 year old range, you need to assume either you or your spouse one is going to live to be well into your nineties. That's pretty much what the medical guys, what I hear that they're saying now, you need to count on one of you is going to live into your nineties. So you need to be prepared for that. And I'd like for everybody to put a pencil and paper to this and you and your spouse figure out when virtually all, all of us couples, one of the couples going to pass away first. And when you do, uh, some of your retirement income most likely is going to disappear with that person's passing away. What is your, going to in, what is your income going to be when the one of the spouses passes away and is that enough to make this payment if you say you're going to buy another house or rent a house or what whatever your lifestyle is put that pencil to paper and so that both you and your spouse are comfortable in when one of you passes away the survivor has got a, a sustainable income uh, so the next poll i've got is where if you do this full-time rv living and then you get tired of it, where are you going to live out the rest of your, your where's the next place you're going to live? For us, <coughs> when we sold our house, we had a little bit of equity, we put some stuff with that. 
We hope that we can find a house that we can pay cash for that meets our standards and the climate that we want to be in. But that's our plan is to buy, our, uh, we think we have the finances to, to pay cash for our next house. Uh, if you use that equity in your house to buy your RV and all that stuff, you might very well have to rent when you're done with this. Either stay in your RV and park it in an RV park or, or get rid of your RV and maybe uh, buy one of those park models that uh, they have for sale that they're used and they're ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and new they're forty or $50,000 and then 500 bucks a month for the space. But anyway, are you going to buy a place? Are you going to rent a place? Uh, are you going to stay living in your RV and just park it in an RV park? So that's our third question and should be up here. So that's pretty much it. If we could, because usually we get a thousand or two thousand uh, views the first day or two. It would sure be nice if we could get a thousand responses. We're going to meet up with Jeff and Lori. They left to go to Roundout Valley up in New York today and we're going to head up there tomorrow. And then we have another couple that we met in uh, Indianapolis, and they're coming through Roundout. I think they're coming through Thursday, Will and Ellie. And Will wants to retire. They've got their RV, and they're ready to go, but Ellie doesn't necessarily want to. So if you'll answer these questions, maybe I can do an interview with all six of us or whoever's willing to do it. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments that you want us to cover on the... Uh, uh, interview and to give you a little background uh, Jeff and Lori they've got their RV they're wanting to go they're just waiting for to work two more years to get a uh, some kind of a pension thing some extra money but they've got enough to survive pretty much forever uh, ongoing thing Will and Ellie I don't know anything about their finances but I know their kids and grandkids Ellie doesn't want to leave the grandkids and Will is ready to go and then come back and visit them. And they're roughly our age, maybe younger. Uh, so if you got any questions that those two couples in those situations might be able to uh, have some input for you, write, put your questions down in the comments. And we'll take all this information and later on in the week we will uh, give you the results and we'll try to include some of it in the uh, interviews. So, hopefully those are of interest. Uh, I'm going to try to edit this, do a real quick edit on this and get it out tonight. Because we've got high speed internet here at uh, Timothy Lakes. And then we got to go back to our cell phones up at uh, Roundout. So I'm going to try to upload it real quick tonight. And uh, hopefully we get a lot of responses. And thank all of you guys for... Uh, using our Amazon link. We appreciate it. We've had some great dinners and uh, we've had some great conversations and uh, stuff with uh, all you viewers that we meet along the way. And if you want to meet up, we're headed on up to Maine and coming back down to Florida. We've got our map. I'll stick a copy of our map up here. We love meeting you guys. So shoot us an email. Stick a picture of you and your RV if you've got one in the email. And uh, if you're somewhere along the route, Hopefully we can meet up and uh, you can share your story. So thanks very much for watching. Keep the wheels rolling. Stay safe. We'll see you at the next exit. Bye-bye.